Hi, I'm Pat Patterson, Community Champion at StreamSets, and I'm going to show you how I can use StreamSets Data Collector to read JSON data from a Kafka queue, operate on it with JavaScript, and then write it to uh, Apache Kudu for analysis. So uh, let's have a look at the, the problem here. What we have is some uh, JSON data that represents uh, city lots in San Francisco. So we have some address data down here. So uh, street numbers uh, from street and to street here. So this is 2360 uh, Washington Street. So we've got street and street type. And we've got some uh, block, block numbers and uh, block lot numbers that presumably mean something to the city of San Francisco. Now, interestingly, we also have the uh, coordinates of uh, the polygon or polygons that make up that city lot. And what we can do is uh, in JavaScript run a standard calculation to calculate the area of each lot from those coordinates. Because my goal here is to get an idea of the uh, size of these city lots in San Francisco and which are the biggest ones. You know, obviously if I'm in the city government, that's gonna be pretty uh, useful information for me. So let's go ahead and uh, start building a pipeline in StreamSets. So uh, here's our pipeline. It's telling us uh, we need to select an origin. And the origin I'm gonna select is the Kafka consumer. So uh, let's drag that on there. And we're using Kafka 0.9. We can address a whole uh, set of different versions here. And I need to tell it that my data is in JSON. And uh, my topic is going to be city lots. So I'm going to be writing, uh, reading uh, data from the city lots uh, topic in Kafka. And I also, um, I need to say in this JSON configuration, that um, I'm reading much uh, bigger uh, than, than standard records. Some of these um, uh, polygons have a lot of coordinates. In fact, by kind of doing this before, I've determined that I need uh, 512K as my uh, maximum object size uh, in my uh, origin there. Okay, so that's my Kafka consumer sorted out. I'm going to add a JavaScript processor. So we get the ability here to read, um, uh, to operate on these records in JavaScript. And uh, if we go in here, let's make this bigger. There's some sample code here to show you the idea. Basically, we get a batch of records and we can loop through those, um, operating them as we please. I've got some code over here. Let's copy that and paste it in. So. This is gonna run through um, each of the records and for each record, it's going to uh, operate on this geometry uh, property here. So we do a little bit of pre-processing there and then we have this area variable that we're gonna fill up as we walk around the uh, coordinates. This is a standard calculation for uh, calculating area from uh, of a polygon from its coordinates. Then we're going to write the output record down here. And we're also going to write the uh, latitude and longitude of the, uh, of the first coordinate as the location of that, of that property. OK, so that's our JavaScript. And we need a destination. We need to write it to uh, Apache Kudu. So this is brand new, the, the Kudu destination. And um, it works really nicely. I just drag it on there and then in its uh, setup, I need to say that it's at local host colon uh, 7051. And I'm writing to the city lots table. So if I go over to Impala here, um, this is the table I'm writing to. So it essentially mirrors the uh, input data except that it has a lat, lon, and area. So these are the fields that my JavaScript's pulling out for me and calculating uh, that were not in that source data. All right, so let's uh, hook up kudu. Let's see, I don't need any mapping there at all. I think that's all I need to do there. And just for a bit of fun, I'm gonna write to a second destination, uh, a, Kafka cons a Kafka producer. 
And here, I'm going to choose the same stage library, um, the same Kafka client library, so 0 0.9. And I'm going to say that I'm writing to the city lots 2 topic. And I'm going to write uh, JSON records out there as well. Uh, and these are going to be multiple. So I'm, I'm writing these JSON objects to uh, an output queue. So I'm reading JSON from uh, Kafka with this consumer. I'm operating on it with this JavaScript emulator and writing the results to both Kudu and another Kafka queue. So this is to illustrate uh, the fact that we can have two destinations uh, in a pipeline. And we'll also have a, a little bit of fun in a, in a couple of minutes with that. OK, so we can validate our uh, pipeline and check that I've got all the ports and hosts OK. All right, validation successful. That's always good to see in a demo. And let's start it running. So what we'll notice is that it's basically quiet. Uh, I'm not actually writing any uh, anything to that input queue. So uh, let's go do that. So I've got a script here that is going to pump JSON records into uh, the Kafka queue at a rate of about two every second. Uh, there's a little bit of randomness there to, to make things more interesting. So what we should see is just after a few seconds that uh, we've started processing records. And uh, here we can see that um, We've got many more output records, in fact, nearly twice as many output records as input records because it's counting both destination. And we're seeing some errors. And now, the really nice thing about uh, stream sets is that it lets us uh, introspect the data and see exactly what's going on. So we can see here the JavaScript evaluators processed uh, about 80 records. It's found three that it's had a problem with. So uh, let's dig in here. So. Let's see, all three of them, it's saying uh, cannot get property type of null. Uh, let's see what's going on. So recall, the, we were um, looking into that geometry uh, property to get the uh, coordinates. And for some reason, these three records here uh, just don't have um, any coordinates. And suspiciously, they also have null as their street and street type. So it looks like we may have some uh, data there that uh, uh, there's a, that's not as clean as we expected. No matter, though, because we're still successfully processing the, the bulk of the records. We also have a few problems over here in Kudu. And again, we can uh, dig a little bit deeper here. And we can see, uh, let's just maximize this, that um, we've got some duplicates. I set the primary key in Kudu to from uh, the from street number, the street and the street type. And we have a whole bunch of them with these blank values. And in fact, even here we have uh, 2655 Hyde Street appears to have two lots. So that would be something we'd want to investigate and uh, figure out what's going there, what's going on there. But uh, we do have, uh, let's see, 263 records in Kudu. So we can start having a look uh, in the Impala shell here. So uh, let's uh, let's see, we've got 261 there. Uh, it should go up as time goes by, 267. And um, we can get a preliminary idea from the first couple of hundred records that we processed. We can see, uh, get that list of the top 10 um, lots by area. And uh, you can imagine if we left this crunching through the rest of the data. I've deliberately slowed this down so we can actually see the streaming operation in action. Um, but if we let this crunch those through those 206,000, it actually does it very, very quickly. And we would have the top 10 overall for the city. So if you remember, um, I had a second destination there. I had this Kafka producer that's writing the uh, augmented records with latitude, longitude, and area out to a queue. And a couple of reasons I did this. One was to show that uh, pipelines can have uh, two destinations. So writing both to Kudu and to Kafka. And the other was to kind of have a little bit of fun with a way of visualizing this data. So I wrote a Kafka consumer 
um, as a Minecraft plugin. So what it's doing here is as it uh, reads those um, city lot uh, records from the Kafka queue, it's dropping them into a map of San Francisco. And if you look carefully, you can see that there are actually two colors. So uh, lots that are greater than um, 10,000 square meters get these gold colored, the sand uh, blocks, and then everything else gets the gray gravel blocks. So this is, uh, this is actually pretty nice, uh, pretty nice visualization. What we find is that over time, you build up a three-dimensional histogram of the city and in areas with uh, you know, lots of small city lots, uh, you get high bars. And in other areas, such as the parks, like Golden Gate Park and the Presidio, you have a great big uh, green area. So there you have it. Um, reading data from Kafka, operating on it uh, in JavaScript, uh, augmenting those records with that, that area data, writing to Kudu for analysis, figuring out the top 10. Let's have a quick look there, see if that's changed. It should have in the past couple of minutes. Yep. Oh, wow. Quite different here. We had uh, between 30,000 and 5,000. Now between 30,000, like some bigger properties have come through the queue. Operating on it uh, in JavaScript, writing it to Kafka, being able to do analytics in Kafka, and also a fun visualization uh, with a uh, Kafka consumer in Minecraft. That's the power of stream sets.